First, we'll go over the contents of our kit. Several pairs of sterile gloves to fit most hand sizes, several pairs of blue sterile operating room towels, a standard combat application tourniquet, chlorhexidine swabs, a 10-blade scalpel, several sterile 4x4s, a biohazard bag, and a jiggly saw. Once you've decided that a field amputation is indicated and necessary, the next thing you'll have to do is place a combat application tourniquet. You want to place the tourniquet as far distal as possible on the affected limb, but proximal to the site of the proposed amputation, avoiding placement over any joints. As you would be applying a tourniquet to a leg site, always make sure the buckle is doubled back. And as is usual for any tourniquet, make sure that you are recording an accurate tourniquet time. Next, select the lowest point on the entrapped limb that's available for you to incise the area. Utilizing your skin preparation material, whether that be betadine, chlorhexidine, or alcohol, make sure you prepare the area and allow the appropriate time to dry. Next, utilizing your 10-blade scalpel, make a circumferential skin incision at the lowest point on the entrapped limb at the site you have selected. Ensure that you incise through all of the soft tissue completely down to the bone, severing any tendons that are accessible at this time. Next, take out the Gili saw and unwind it. Place the Gili saw around the exposed bone while holding a handle in each hand. Utilizing tension with both hands, perform a slow back and forth motion. You want to keep your hands in a 90 degree or sharper V shape. You may need some assistance stabilizing the limb proximal to the amputation site. Ensure that you cut completely through the bone. Once you've done this, there may be some remaining soft tissue that you'll need to incise with your 10-blade scalpel. Assess for continued bleeding and control with direct pressure. If available, bone wax can assist in stopping the bleeding from the freshly cut bone. Combat gauze is an acceptable alternative. Next, place a bulky dressing and transport the patient emergently to the hospital.